this is a, a video for Gina B. Aaron's design team for the month of June. And uh, this month's prompts were uh, type, batch, and variety. And uh, I haven't been very good at following the prompts, uh, but um, I think I can manage it this time, sorta. So I'm going to do a batch of um, a small collage uh, pages in my collage journal. I started doing this after watching Diane Fogo, and if you haven't seen her on uh, on YouTube, you should. And you're interested in this? She's oh, she does wonderful things, and I found this book in uh, the dollar store, and it's got uh, Coptic binding on it, which I was fascinated by. And uh, it's an odd book with kind of uh, you know it seems to be little booklets uh, sewed together. <laughs> so we have like craft paper and we have uh, like actual book covers, so like cardstock weight and, and but most of it is kind of like a drawing weight paper. So it's, it's really a, actually a nice book for four bucks Canadian. You can't beat it. So uh, that's what I'm doing and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll show you some pages that I have done already. Uh, uh, some of them with Gina's uh, downloads uh, and, um, and, and then we'll, uh, then I'll show you the pages that I've done uh, on film. So um, uh, here, this, this one is Gina's downloads. This is a strip off of another one of D Gina's uh, downloads. Um, this this one comes from a page called New Small Small Art, and uh, it's one of my absolute favorites. I love her stuff. And uh, here is another page. It's called I believe it's called Journal Spots, and uh, they're quite large circles on a page. You can make them into stickers if you buy the right kind of sticker paper. You know, it's available in the in the uh, Staples. And here's what this is one is a packing uh, tape transfer uh, just out of a magazine. I, I, uh, yeah, nothing of hers on this page. Here's another one of those uh, journal spots. Um, and, uh, and this is a, a, one of her stamps. Another one of the journal spots. Uh, and some lace that I dyed uh, the, with paint, just with acrylic paint. Uh, uh, these are, this is all, uh, um, yeah, and, and we were in um, uh, Ottawa at the Tube Festival and we were, uh, so I, I Got some printed material there and uh, put it together in a little bit of a collage too. And uh, after that is the the ones that I'm going to show you on film, and I'll uh, uh, I'll be back with that. Okay, gang, I thought I'd um, talk you through uh, some of this. Um, obviously, I, I had a, a large page of um, Gina's, one of Gina's downloads, and I tore off some that I liked. It was bright, sunny page. I was really happy with that uh, download that uh, includes little pieces you could make your own washi tape with. I, I recommend it to you. Um, yeah, so I'm just uh, fidgeting through my box of scraps and uh, and looking at things I might want to put on there. And that little bird comes from Plush Possum Studios. Uh, uh, a nice lady named uh, Rose McGuinn, I think her last name is. She does uh, she does lovely stuff. And honestly, I'm having a laugh at myself because I keep looking at this. Um, and saying, well, why didn't you just leave it like that? And why didn't you just, see, that looks great. Why didn't you just leave that? And 
<laughs> I fuss with this page and I fuss with this page. <laughs> Which, you know, tells me that I really wasn't in the moment. Uh, I was, you know how your head is not always right where you're working. And I think that's, you know, um, I mean, I think one of the things that happens in art is it gives you a chance to get there eventually. Um, but um, I, it's <clears throat> sometimes a little intimidating to have the camera on, I find. But, you know, um, you know, I, I get there. I get there eventually. I, I like this little dark strip, but it just, it's too dark, I think. And instead of, you know, putting more dark on there to balance it out, I think, yeah, no, and I find something else. <laughs> so, uh, I could have done that. Um, Anyway, so uh, I'm, I'm just playing with these things. One of the things I want to talk to you about is um, um, more a little bit more about that book that I'm working in and, and why would you choose a, or to make or buy a book that is uh, done with Coptic binding? And that is because it will lie flat. You know, most... Uh, uh, journals that are not wire bound or, um, you know, um, are, are sewn. Most of the ones we get, uh, commercially are will, they, they, the pages kind of roll towards the middle. You know what I'm talking about, but in a, in a book that's Coptic bound, even one that says, as kind of, uh, hobbled together like this one I bought at the dollar store, the pages lie flat. You can see that while I'm working. And uh, I, I, it's it's a real uh, blessing in the in when you're working in art, not to have to worry about what what might fold towards the center, or where you know, and where the balance would be on that. Um, <clears throat> this the other thing I, I wanted to say is that this this little uh, collage book is uh, almost all dry medium. So you can see I'm working with a glue stick there, and uh, I do most of this stuff with glue stick. Occasionally, I'll get out the um, the uh, the white uh, school glue. I actually use um, Elmer's Extreme, both in the glue stick and the liquid form. Um, but I uh, I I do that um, sparingly, only when I'm trying to put down something that's got a little more texture. I don't, and, and I think that's one of the blessings of that, this, this style of art, uh, is that a, a, you, you don't have a lot of, uh, messy liquids, uh, that need to dry or, you know, need to, uh, uh so, you know, it's something you can do very quickly. And, uh, in fact, these four pages took me um, just over uh, 45 minutes to do. Now, of course, I've sped them up for you because you don't want to watch me do that for 45 minutes, especially when I'm messing with the same piece of paper over and over again. <laughs> but, um, uh, you know, uh, this is four times... But, you know, four pages for 45 minutes, that's, you know, really, folks, that's like, you know, less than 12 minutes a page. You know, and you have the sense that you accomplished something. You have a sense that you are connected to your art in a way that is uh, a very, uh, very helpful, I think. Um and it's also because it's this little wee book and and you know nothing um there's nothing it's not precious so you don't feel like whoa you know if i make a mistake i'll wreck it you know it's not a canvas and i think that's one of the things we have to uh, guard against is to feel that our art is precious we need to to feel free to uh do whatever we are uh, feeling at the moment and to experiment and to try new things and here I am adding a little pen work to this um, um, 
page. I actually am uh, I'm writing the little bits of words here. I think I wrote spring on that one and bird song on the other one, and I'm just giving it a little bit more um, definition. I think is the word. And yeah, oh, I found a piece I didn't glue down right, so I glue it down, and I'm. Uh, taking some of those edges, uh, those lines that are on the download and, and uh, taking them off the actual piece of paper. So, uh, and here are, are, here I am working on the next set of pages and kind of the same things apply. So I'm just going to let you watch and uh, uh, I'm going to come back in at the end. Well, gang, I, I'm just putting the final touches on this, and I really hope you've enjoyed it. Um, you can find many of the products that I used today uh, on Gina's Etsy store. You just follow the links t uh, in the link tree uh, to her in the description box below, and you'll also find there a coupon for 15% off. Um, the design team is full of really wonderful and uh, creative people, and you'll find in that uh, in the same place a, a list of all the uh, other members of the design team, and they've done some wonderful things. So I really hope you'll uh, click some of those links or all of them, and uh, and uh, and go and have a uh, a look at what the the other folks have done. I uh, I really hope you've uh, you've enjoyed this, and if you have, please give me a like, um, a comment, and uh, and subscribe. Okay, we'll see you soon. Bye.